Hey everyone, how are you? My name is Kevin DeLeon with Cengage Learning and um, I worked with um, all of your instructors um, and to provide you this awesome digital learning tool to help you um, pass your class this semester and be a little bit more engaged in the content and uh, I wanted to show you a little bit about how to access it and how to use it so that you're a little bit more aware um, of what MindTap is and why it's valuable um, for you. Um, so this is the front page, and I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about how we access it and those types of things in a, in a little bit. But uh, once you access uh, MindTap, you're going to do so through Blackboard, okay? And once you click on the link, uh, you'll come here. And this is the first page. This is your week view. Um, and so inside the week view, your instructor can set due dates for different items in here, and they'll show up depending on when they're due. Like you can see this is a quiz that's graded. You'll see it's graded because it has a G, graded. Right? And if you hover over it, it will say count towards grade. And you'll see that it's due September 1st at 11 p.m. And then this right here is actually the link to an ebook, um, and that's due the 3rd. So the ebook isn't something that's graded. They can't, your instructor can't find out whether you've read it or not. Um, but it just helps you manage your expectations about uh, what is due and, and when to help you kind of stay on task um, for, for each semester. Some instructors are, are really, really wonderful about providing you this information up front and syllabus and those types of things, um, and others not so much. So um, by having them put due dates in here and lay out each activity for each week is a really great benefit. So you know what's expected of you, and you can juggle your other classes and your schedule accordingly. Um, also, for each week, if you click on one of these items, you can go directly into the activity. Um, you see for week two here, I, I scheduled a bunch of other things. So these are all um, ebook links, and you can see they're for chapter one, section two, chapter two, section two, chapter two, section three, so on and so on and so forth. And you can click right into them and go right into the, um, into the item instead of having to fish around through the chapters to find each one of these, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so the week view, I hope, will really, really help you. Okay, so we're here inside the... Um, inside the uh, ebook and, and I'm in an instructor view so there are a couple things in here that you won't see um, but I'll point out a couple things if you want to get to different sections you can use these um, hyperlinks you can use this bar down here to get to different sections as well okay you'll notice throughout the ebook that you'll see pictures videos all different types of multimedia in here to help engage you um, in what you're reading. It's not just flat words on a page. Additionally, your instructor has the ability to add content in here. So they might add a YouTube video or a web link or maybe their own content, maybe PowerPoint slides, anything that they think might help you with the content um, they can put right here inside the ebook. So this is a really great place to look. Um, you're probably wondering if you can print out of here. You can. There's an icon up here to print. So if you want to print just this section, or the entire reading, you can. Um, so by doing this, this is a little bit of a less expensive option for you. You can buy just MindTap, um, and it comes with a full ebook and all the activities and everything like that that I'm going to go over. And you won't have to um, purchase the the package at the bookstore, which includes the loose leaf book and MindTap, and you can print. Um, and this is for those that really just want to bring a couple pages with them to class every once in a while. Um, if your idea is to print the whole book. Um, that could get expensive, so I would really suggest in terms of page quality that you just head to the bookstore and buy the package. It's pretty reasonably priced. And then you'd click print and off you go. One of the other features inside MindTap is that we can have the text read to you. Okay, We actually do that for ADA compliance, but it works really, really well in case you're streaming through Bluetooth in your car or you're listening to it on your headphones or, or if you're dyslexic like me and you like to have things read to you as you read to kind of help the content sink in. You can do that two different ways. You can click on this link here that says read this page aloud and it will start reading. Or you can highlight and whenever you highlight you'll get a bunch of options here and you can click read text. And you'll notice that when the text begins to read it will neurotransmitters follow. cross the synapse too. It will follow along as well. And so that really helps as well. And if you want to replay it, you can. The neurotransmitters cross the synapse too. Okay, and you can exit out. So it can help you with pronunciation, all different kinds of things. You can make the text a little bit bigger. You can bookmark pages. You can get to different areas 
sections of the chapter, like I mentioned before. Okay. Additionally, you probably noticed a couple other options when I highlighted. So whenever I highlight and I release, I get these options. You can highlight in any of these colors. You can add a note. You can search Questia, which is this app down here, which I'll talk about in a minute, is our research database app. In case you're writing a paper, doing a research paper for this class or any other class, you can use this. It's basically access um, to the resources that your school library uses, plus a bunch of additional resources, okay? You can use the dictionary if you don't know what neurotransmitters mean, okay? You can write yourself a note, study, okay? Do all kinds of different highlighting in different colors. Okay. And you can even add a flashcard. And so whatever you highlighted will actually be the definition. So there's flashcards made for you over here. And whatever you add will be the definition and then you can put in the, you know, the name for it in case you want to make some custom flashcards for yourself. Pretty cool. So that's the ebook. When you're done with it, you can X out of here. Okay. There's also a unit view up here. The second view for you is a unit view. And if you need to navigate through the chapters, you can use this back button here to navigate through all these different chapters. And then um, each mind tap is organized a little bit differently. Some of them have different links for different sections of the ebook, like this. You'll know it's an ebook because there's a picture of a book here. Okay. And then the activities are down here as well. And you can see whether they are counts towards grade or practice, okay? Uh, if they are set as counts towards grade, I wouldn't worry as much. Um, but if it has a due date next to it, then I would make sure that you have it done, okay? All right, so now a couple other items over here. Underneath your name, and my name is up here, there are some, there's some information for you. Customer support is how you get to our tech support, okay? If you want to send us some feedback, you can. If you're having problems with your browser, you might want to do a systems check on your browser. So a couple things for you to think about. This app here is a search app. You can search anything inside of MindTap at all, whether it's a page number, content, keyword, anything like that. So maybe disorder. Okay, so these are all different, different definitions. Okay, if I want to show more, I can down here. Keep in mind, MindTap eBook does not have page numbers. So uh, if you're looking for a specific page number, you might want to use this, okay? And whenever you get to an item that is not a definition, as there are many here, here we go, like this one, these are hyperlinks. You can get to the information. Just makes it a really quick way for you to find information. This is the full book. If you just want to get to the full book, instead of having it chunked out into sections, we have the full book here for you. You can print out of here as well. You cannot have this text read to you. You cannot highlight or do any of that. It's just the book, but it's here for you. This right here is the glossary. There are all the glossary terms alphabetized here. This is your progress app. It lets you know what your grades are. So every single time you do an assignment, whether it's practice or graded, you're going to have instant scores right away. So you won't ever have to wait for a score for an item that's in here unless it's a written assignment, which is pretty cool. So you can kind of keep track of what you're doing. This is the Read Speaker app. This is the app that helps us do the read the read text um, and you can change a couple of the settings and here's all that is this app right here is flashcards so you can choose different chapters and then once you're in here you can click okay go to the next card and up here by this gearbox you can print the deck down here's the dictionary i already showed you one way to get to the dictionary but if you just want to look up a word you have another here this one here is a notebook. We have a partnership with Evernote, and if you sign up for Evernote, you can use this as an actual ebook or a notebook, rather. And then you can also have your notes synced to your Evernote account. You can use them on your phone, your iPad, your computer, and then you can have them here as well. So it's pretty handy to have all your notes in one spot. A couple of these apps, like here, like these, you won't see. These are for your instructors. 
This one here is an app called Flash Notes. It's a place for you to buy and sell notes. It's a company that we partner with. And so if you're an awesome note taker, you can take, you can write notes or study guides and post them on here and have in students from your school or even from other schools purchase them from you. So if you're looking to make a little bit of extra cash, this is a great place for you. Additionally, if you're a student and you're having trouble um, with a specific class, you can come on here and search for notes from that school, from that teacher, and see if there's any notes posted. If not, you might find some notes from a different school or a different course that might really help. So that's something for you to look at. Okay. This app right here is called your Study Hub app. And this is a pretty important one as well because this is an area that your instructor can share some items with. They can share highlights and notes with you. Uh, and they'll be in orange. And you can find them here in your notes and highlights. Okay. And so these are the notes and highlights that we took a little bit earlier. Notice I took some in all these different colors throughout here. Okay. And if you want to get to them, you can just come over here and click and off you go. And you can go right to whatever note that you're looking for. And they're all organized for you as well, which is pretty cool. Additionally, up here at the top, there are a bunch of filters. So if you want to use the filters, to filter out all the different notes that you have in here, the different colors, whether they're shared or just ones that you've done, you can. The bookmarks are here organized for you as well. Okay. Lastly, in this study hub app are these study guides. So you can create yourself a personal study guide. And you can call this example one. Maybe I'm going to have a chat, a quiz on chapter one. And so you can have key terms, custom flashcards if you made any, and then any shared notes that your instructor had. You can, you can add in here as well. You can add that unit, and then maybe chapter two as well. You want all those to come over as well. And then create a study guide. So your instructor can create study guides for you that can be housed here, and then you can create your own as well. And then look at all these cool items you have. And then you can print out of here as well and carry them with you. Just a really great way for you to get a bunch of information that you need to do well on the test and have it with you all the time. So that's that. Okay. So lastly, there's this app called Questia down here. And I think that you might really, really enjoy this. Um, if you're having any trouble writing a paper or researching for a different class, this is for you. So Questia allows you to search our basically our research database, just the pretty much the exact same content that the, your school library would have. And you can search for pretty much anything in here. You can create different projects and different project folders for this class or this project or different classes or different projects, anything that you like. Additionally, up in this menu, you can see from the library all the different topics that we have. So you can really use it for any class that you have. There are some writing center helpful things in here as well. So this writing center will help you write a paper in terms of what steps you have to go through. Okay, start a new paper. There are a bunch of different writing steps that you need to go through when writing a research paper and we'll walk you through each one of those steps here, which is pretty neat. Developing a thesis, creating an outline, just all the information that you'd probably talk about in class, in English class, um, except now you don't have to take notes. It's just right here for you. Citation, bibliography, all this kind of stuff. There's a topic finder in here as well. So if you're not sure, how about terrorism? Okay, here are all of these different topics. And if you can't find something that works well for you, you can use this topic idea generator. Maybe you want to search history and spin and find a topic. And if you find a topic, you can explore. And if not, you can spin again. Lastly, there's a tutorials tab down here. The tutorials tab are 10 different tutorials on items that we find students could use the most help on. Planning a paper, conducting research, how to use the library, evaluating sources, working with different documentation styles, anything. 
And inside here are different sections of these topics. And they're all videos and examples. So if you're not sure what plagiarism is, you can watch a video on it and then look at an example. And if you want to know how to keep track of your sources, you can watch a video and an example. And it's a really great way to help you with your writing, or it's a great tool to use as you're using your research, uh, as you're doing your research for other classes. Inside each of the readings as well, we can take automatic um, bibliographies for you so that you can keep track of what you're doing. You can take notes, you can highlight, you can do a lot of really cool stuff, and it's a pretty powerful tool. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm going to post some other videos about how to register MindTap, where to buy it, all those types of things. But I didn't want to.